My practice is really about, uh, you know, like the ephemeral and, and the temporal and like just this juxtaposition between gesture and text and, and stillness and movement. And, and I really try to do it in a way that's like not over aestheticized because like I really want to evoke this, this pure sense of nostalgia for the viewer. But, but the viewer, I mean, I don't even think about the viewer because I'm not like a sellout. <laughs> but, like, that brings, like, this whole idea of commodification and, like, America and, like, how society is, like, so obsessed with consumption and capitalism. So I use a lot of green in my paintings. And, like, I had this one professor who, like, didn't get it because he probably didn't read, like, chromophobia and probably doesn't even, like, recycle or whatever. <laughs> but, like, I'm basically just using this, like, reductive process of visual style, but it's, like, not stylized because I'm, like, not a graphic designer or, like <laughs> like, an illustrator or something. But, like... My work is really about, like, the non-objective, but, like, you know, like, externalized in the beholder's subjective experience. Really coming out of this provisional discourse and, like, very akin to artists like, um, you know, like, Larrabee McNabb or, like, Diego Cotter or, like, Vervo Darashi, you know, like, uh, you, don't know, you don't know their work? No, no, that's fine. Like, you should really look them up, though, because, like, I mean, I don't know, whatever. Like, at the end of the day, my work is really, like, an exploration of, like, the Apollonian and Dionysian and, like, these great dichotomies and, like, really unpacking these opposing forces and, like, you know, exploring just, like, primal unity, you know?